I've sunk an enemy destroyer. doing fantastic they got a fun game in the mogador tier nine uh tech tree line of their french dd line and uh and hope you enjoy it but i think uh, we'll do a kind of like a look at it and see how it is before we begin like subscribe all button below if you want to support the channel thank you guys for all the support and uh, as always another four thousand subs we're gonna do a premium giveaway and uh we can't thank you guys enough so let's get to it let's talk about the mogador uh, someone had asked me how is this in tier nine rank these days and it, i gotta say it's quite quite powerful and um we'll talk a little bit about it essentially if we had to sum it up it's kind of like i don't know what came for it came first is uh the mogador then the gdansk so gdansk is kind of like the tier 10 version of this but with better reload like all the, all the time uh, mogador uh, has that french kind of reload rate which is very very slow as you can see seven seconds right there it's got a terrible detection 7.5 but it's got the reload booster kind of like what the Kleber has and essentially this is the tier nine I would say c comparable to the Clavier, but it's got the torpedoes, got the guns, and right there, pop the reload booster, get that reload down to 3.2, and dude, look at these torpedoes, even though they don't go far, but look at that, they get a, t a wonderful hit, and they do pack a wallop, and you don't want to hit that again against my counterpart, Mogador, right there, so that's uh, what you don't want to do, rush right into your death, and we're going to go ahead and use our speed and take out the flank right here and move all the way to the west. As you can see, a Charlie Cap, there is a contesting over there with a Kitakaze Kronstadt and the Alaska and Georgia hopefully can hold them off but you know what our primary objective right now is to go out spot take alpha from the west and just take out the Mogador and then take out their Palmer and boom never mind Schultz takes out the, Mog uh, the Mogador for us and we're going to go ahead and cap the, from the west and burn down the Palmer so while we're maneuvering in position let's read a little bit about the Mogador. Mogador is a tier 9 destroyer of the French tech tree she continues a trend set by the Le Fantastique but with a welcome increase in firepower and more convenient gun layout. Instead of five single-mounted guns, Mogador sports eight and four twin mounts mounted along the center line, making it gun gunnery in total more convenient. And as you can see, it's, it's literally almost like Gdansk. Gdansk takes away one barrel from the back turret, and uh, that kind of reduces its uh, DPM. But Mogador with this reload, um, it's, it's, it's manageable. It's kind of that kind of cruiser kind of reload if you want to think about it that way and of course you got the reload booster so when you do encounter dds you can cut that down in half to about you know 3.3 seconds something around that uh, range without uh, adrenaline kicking in the most prominent feature of the motor is at her speed which she can go well above 50 knots so very very powerful speed right there i think i've gotten this thing up to about 54 55 ish knots i think correct me if i'm wrong and of course she's got that main battery reload boosters which we talk about at the same time her lackluster concealment means that the opposite destroyer will have the option to react more to mogador than uh, than can engage them on top of that the lack of smoke generator means mogador will still struggle to disengage uh, if required so again you can see we got to just run away we can't really uh, hide ourselves mogador's torpedo armament is also lacking making them more of a side weapon or a tool when rushing an opponent so kind of that yolo mentality this team means that mogador is best played in combination with an allied destroyer to overcome the concealment issue and lack of smoke meanwhile using high burst damage potential allows to do to, to dispose of any destroyers they might face so really what you're seeing is is again kind of like that gdansk uh Kleber play style which is a large destroyer got speed it's got the french saturated working for it so that's the be good thing it's got going for it besides the gdansk uh, gdansk doesn't have that it's got this the you know similar gun mounts everything like uh the gdansk does again you look at it, it literally is just like a gdansk hole which is at tier nine of course mogador came first and it's got the reload booster so you can see it's cut down to 2.9 seconds and this is perfect for when you need to you know when you see a damage con happen you just start that fire you get it burning again and there's nothing they can do about it and again the reload is just decent and again you can use the speed to juke this french saturation just reduces the amount of damage you're taking so it's very very frustrating to play uh, play against french destroyers and again you get the speed to really just eliminate and move around and, and eliminate your position or move around and use that to position in the correct place and even catch a lot of destroyers off guard you can get around the map go back and boom splash one six three thousand damage right there and again, you're using the, the the aspects of the ship really just to get in a correct position, cap
cap the cap, hunt down destroyers, especially with RPF. You can see right there, I can really hunt down destroyer really, really well with the speed. Uh, again, you got to save that reload booster for those moments for destroyers. I don't use it for uh, anything other than destroyers. And if a damage con battleship just uses its damage con, damage con heals and I need to get that fire going right off the bat, it's a great fire starter as well. We'll go ahead and speed it up. Again, very, very aggressive, powerful destroyer. I like it a lot. Uh, for clan battles, I'm sorry, for uh, rank season and tier nine, yeah, absolutely. This thing does a marvelous, wonderful job at just eliminating everybody, and it does it superbly. And it, it, it is a beast. I have to say, Mogador, very, very powerful for what it can do. And uh, yeah, it shines. I mean, you can see right now the gun trajectories are decent. I don't have a problem with it. The shells are not wonky. They're just doing what they can. And look at that. Ooh. Destroyer gets taken on by this torpedo Palmer. Very, very all devastating right there. So very, very powerful. I definitely recommend it. And uh, yeah, um, you know, Mogador does exactly everything I needed to do and more. So hope you guys enjoy the video. The uh, build will be at the end of the video. And uh, we'll take a look at, uh, I think I have maybe another video to showcase off the Mogador, even in um, random. So we'll take a look at that. The build will be at the end of the screen and hope you enjoy. Okay, so here's another look at the Mogador uh, in ranked right now. And really, just look at the sheer speed of it. I mean, uh, really quick, en en enough to get you around the map there need to do what you need to do. And look, making an engagement against another Mogador right now, it just bullies other destroyers. Even another Mogador. I mean, I think it's comfortable and to go against other destroyers uh, on the French DD line. And you got the reload booster over there, cutting it down to 3.1, which is very manageable. See the arcs and trajectory of the shells. Very, very easy to kind of get these shells on target and do what you need to do. Again, his French saturation and our French saturation, we got basically it's like an equal, equal kind of duel and match out. And we, of course, we got Fearless Brawler, so maybe our reload's a little bit slightly better than his, uh, the other player right there. But again, uh, it doesn't really matter. It just it just seems how can you land these shells and fire? And then he's using his speed to get away egress. We're doing the same thing. We got our speed kicked in. We're, you got a good acceleration. And again, it's just really um, able to be consistently put shells on target and do everything you need it to do. And I, I like it. It's really, really enjoyable, very comfortable. I can bully DDs. It doesn't matter what kind of DD I'm going against in Tier 9. Uh, I felt very, very comfortable, very, um, you know, very easy with the guns aiming. Uh, maneuverability again is very crucial on my part when I need to run around and do my job as a destroyer which is spot destroy DDs and cap and uh, very very powerful in rank again I did elect it not to shoot at the other destroyer because we're about to kill this Mogador so let's we've got support might as well use it and capitalize just imagine if I didn't keep firing uh, the, the damage wouldn't have been there to uh, eliminate this last guy in this here just got to lead him a little bit more he's uh, running a little bit faster so I kind of put the 18 and 20 tick mark on there so he drives right into my shells last shot in the air right there hopefully this nail him and boom they never give up right there splash one for us right there we have the rpf still locating the other fletcher right there and it's always good to know where your enemies at again here we go we're ca killing dds we're capping um the the cap and we're also going ahead and spot the other destroyer as well and making sure that we eliminate him and making sure that we don't let anybody escape our grasp right there here we go we're spotted right here we got the speed boost up He's going to drive right in now. We'll let him just drive right in the shells. This is exactly why I like the Mogador. Reload booster comes up. Even though the Kitakaze has a good reload rate, it doesn't matter. Our French saturation is kicking in, which means his shells aren't doing as much damage. And the last shot right there. And boom, he goes out and we eliminate that destroyer right there. So let's go ahead and take a look. Other Fletcher right there. Everybody else is firing at us. We're using their speed to get it run away. And, of course, our battleships are all dead uh, except for one. And we're going to hunt and use again. Watch the speed. I mean, I've got this thing up to about 50-ish knots. Uh, well, more than enough for me to run back to Bravo Cap and try to secure it. I know the enemy's team is going for Bravo right there. And look at there. We're just using our guns. Even at about 7.6 kilometer range. Again, I know the Fletcher's shells are very, very floaty, very wonky. And it's very difficult for him to hit. But not for us because the shells for the, bal the ballistics for the French Destroyer line are very good for me and my uh, comfortability. Pop the... The uh, speed again, and again, notice that we are using our speed to run around with our head cut off and just using it as a speedboat to get around the map. And this is how you win the game. Fletcher is caught in the open against a, um, what is that, a Grunigan slash Friesland, and it's just not going to be able to keep up with the DPM on there. And pretty much he goes down, and we got our really little booster just in case. Again, we're going to try to nail this guy. Any kind of damage we can get on this guy to help our uh, friendly Grunigan get... Uh, the destroyer out of the game because that'll help it. There's the hits, three hits right there, enough just to get him down. And there he goes. Awami takes out the Rupert, and they just exchange torpedoes right there. 
And actually, the Fletcher does not go down. I, I forgive me on that one. Gronigan should be able to run back and go get him because the Fletcher does not have heals. And this is, I'll just show you how the match ends. The speed, we go back, catch the uh, Bravo cap. And now we're going to sneak behind Charlie and cap it there. Meanwhile, there's there. Fletcher goes down to the Gronigan. Too much firepower. And then that's how we win the game uh, regarding that. We'll just sit here and cap and just end the game right there. So what do I think of the Mogador? I rec definitely recommend it. It's one of the most powerful ships in the game. Um, I believe in the French Destroyer line. It's still great at a tier 9, even at tier 10 levels. It can uh, hold its own. I mean, it's kind of like, I mean, Gdansk. Gdansk is at tier 10. It's got the same kind of style of gun layout and everything. You've got the reduced reload, but you've got the reload booster, that what you need to do with it. And it's there when you need it for those given situations, as, as you can see right here in the background. Me rushing Alpha Cap with our speed. I like getting up to about 54 knots, which is great uh, for Destroyer. Just trying to get into the cap and uh, really bully Destroyers. We're going to get spotted first, of course, but not um, in this match. We have a carrier, which I don't agree with uh, in rank, but whatever. So he's perma spotted kind of thing until the rework of the carriers. And then, uh, of course, we're spotted as well. The AA is trash as always. Uh, but you know what? We're going to use any kind of situation we can and capitalize on. Look, he's going to go and open up on us, which is a bad idea. A Jutland going against a Mogador. I don't recommend that. But you know what? He thinks he's, uh, you know, like I said, you can bully destroyers. And then you're not afraid to take licks. It's like literally a juggernaut. You I mean, just absorbing damage and you're just not afraid to take it. And here we go. We're taking more shots. Again, the shells are very great, very good ballistics. Easy to manage to, for me um, to shoot at. And it, it does what it needs to do. And again, we're going to run outside right there, go around. We'll go in and, of course, cap um, using our speed. And the uh, maneuverability is kind of wonky. It is a large kind of ship, uh, kind of like that Club Bear Mogador style. I'm sorry, um, Gdansk style. So it's kind of not the most maneuverable, but it's a, a, look at it. It's fairly large, right? Anyways, we're going to go ahead and use the speed again and just, again, bully destroyers. And it does a very, very good job at that. And, I, again, I like it. I, got, I like it for the gun power. The, the torpedoes are more for a YOLO situation event. But again, right here, here's the situation and it really shines and excels at cap. And then, of course, any kind of destroyer that wants to come in and take you on, go ahead and uh, smile right back at it. Unload the, the, unload the uh, maximum firepower and then, boom, you're out of there. And there, here comes some blind fire action there. And you notice I kept my guns exactly where the last spot I, I knew him at. And boom, splash one, first blood. And again, here we go. We're a great reaction. And again, the AP is not uh, is nothing to gawk at as well. I mean, the AP can really um, uh, take on... Uh, broadside cruisers enough. I don't know Club Bear kind of levels, but Club Bear can really sit it on some uh, cruisers on uh, full broadside. Mogador, I hadn't really seen that situation too, too much, even though it's kind of a similar play style, but it, it, it is effective for what it can do. And again, here we are just moving around, being at quick reaction force to get back to where we need to be. And it does a very good job for what it's supposed to do. And again, our if only our team can really just capitalize on these moments. Uh, I think Mogador is very, very powerful and very fast and very effective to move around the battlefield if you like that kind of run and gun style of gameplay. And you can see right here, taking on a Siegfried, which is, uh, you know, back in the day, it used to be a very good, powerful uh, secondary cruiser, but again, it got nerfed or they nerfed the whole secondary thing for a cruiser. So I, I digress on that. Anyways, look, it does a great job right here at just trying to start fires and getting that reload booster going hey look at me and start firing and hopefully you can take it take that that those shells coming at you because again you taking on uh cruisers and battleships is great because now they're all focused on you and shooting at you which gives you uh the ability to save your team and allow them to not take the punishment you're again you're getting that punishment look at that we're already at 550,000 potential damage and look at that we're just using our gun reload gun firepower starting fire there's one and we're going to use that torpedoes. Ooh, the torpedoes actually reach out and almost touch somebody. But anyways, I digress right there. The torpedoes are there for my, that YOLO situation. Uh, and again, look at that. Just a long stop firing. Again, the secondaries aren't able to do much to us on the Siegfried. And there's another fire. And then exactly, it's exactly what the, the Mogador, Club Bear kind of style, Marceau even then. It really gets you this annoying uh, destroyer feel. So we'll eliminate the Siegfried. And then that kinda, that's just showcasing off the Mogador. So how do I, again, do I recommend it? Absolutely. Very, very powerful rank season today. Very, very devastating destroyer. And I definitely recommend it as always. So hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the Mogador. And as always stay safe if you see me out there build be at in the video and uh, again if you see me out there say hi and as always be safe cheers